and all COVID-19 protocols, including the mandatory use of face masks in public places, have today been lifted in the United Kingdom. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson, who made the announcement, said the Plan B measures introduced in early December to stop the rapid spread of the Omicron variant from overwhelming health services would no longer be imposed as face masks will not be legally enforced anywhere and government's advice to work from home will end. While infections continue to fall, health officials say Omicron remained prevalent across the country, especially among children and the elderly. We are now being joined by two Nigerians resident in London. Uju Nwalum is in Manchester, while BC Oni is in Canning Town. And let me start with Uju. You're welcome, Uju, to the news. Hello. Good, good afternoon. It's still morning here, though, because we're one hour behind. Okay. So good afternoon. <laughs> All right, then. So what is it like um, having to drop the COVID rules and protocols of wearing the nose mask as announced by the Prime Minister, Boris Johnson? Well, um, it's still quite early, you know, because the... Um, the announcement has only been made today, although we've all been expecting it because it's been in the news that um, this would be happening. Um, but some people are still insisting, like some shops like Sainsbury's, are still insisting that people wear nose masks when they come into their shops. Um, what we don't know is um, what the um, pubs will do. So um, invariably, I would say what the government is saying is everyone should take responsibility you know, for themselves. Um, for example, my children's school, my, my younger daughter's school has told us that they're still enforcing um, wearing of nose masks for parents and carers. So if you're coming into the school, you still have to wear nose masks. So it's still, um, I think they set up until February 18th, thereabouts. Um, I think the, the essence of all this is just that everyone is tired. Um, by March, it's going to be two years we've been in this. And, you know, it looks like it's a reoccurring decimal and... Um, um, we're kind of helpless, you know, um, the economy is going down and all that. So um, the government actually has no choice. But um, I would say the people who are really impacted are the pubs, you know, because um, they've, have to be, they've had to be shot, you know, um, pretty much of the whole um, two years, you know, since when um, COVID started. So um, I think for them, it's really going to be a welcoming news and um, also big events. There's really not been um, big, you know, like musical okay. shows. Okay, yeah. um, there were football matches, you know, but you need to have COVID passes and all that. But now all these are being put down now. Okay, so uh, um, hopefully by weekend, you know, we'll know how it goes for everyone anyway. All right. We'll do everything you've said. I, uh, we can connect from here, you know, because we've been through all that as well. So over to you, BC. What are your thoughts? Um, to me, it's a relieving um, welcome. Um, a message that Boris Johnson gave for the American economy as a, as collapsed. Um, businesses are not functioning, especially those small businesses. Some of them had to um, lock down, I mean, shut down permanently. Even though the government tried by giving people uh, palliative um, relief, but it was still not enough. So it's a good um, it's a good thing that um, the COVID mask and the restrictions has been lifted, lift, uh, lifted so that people can go back to their normal lives. Unfortunately, COVID, whatever variant is being called now, whether the Delta variant or the Omicron variant, has come to stay with us. So it's high time for us to learn to live with it, like HIV AIDS, like malaria in Nigeria, like cold and flu that we always have here during the winter season. So it's a big relief because if you look at the COVID impact, it really affected the hotel and tourism as well. Okay. You know, All right. they um, couldn't function. Yes. Uh Yes, Bissy, I understand everything yeah. you're saying. You know, people can't wait to go back to their normal life. And so uh, a lot of people are in support of the Prime Minister's decision and while others aren't. So um, back to you, Uju, is resorting to living with the virus the best decision at this time? You know, because uh, when we look at how it all started, UK is one of the first countries that actually placed a ban to visitors into the country. You know, the protocols that was put in place by the country was really strong. So coming back to this and hearing this is quite strange. So uh, what do you think, Uju? Is resorting to living with the virus the best decision at this time? 
we've we've actually got no choice. I mean, um, this um, I mean we've had um, incidents of flus many many years ago. Um, but let us also remember that we didn't have a lot of humans in transition like we have now. A lot of people go on holidays and all that. Um, like like the other lady said. The tourism industry has been affected, you know. Um, I think a few weeks ago, the, the, the tourism industry, especially the airlines, they did say that they wanted a lot more relaxation, you know, with the COVID, um, um, COVID tests, you know, and all that, so that people can fly more. So we've gotten to that level where we are, see, if we die, we die. Do you understand? We just have to move on. You know, we've never okay. had something like this. We okay. can only learn from this experience. We all can just hold the, you know, just hold the country, just hold the economy. And um, oh, let, us, let us also know that, um, you know, a lot of people have been jabbed. So the okay. people have had the first, second and the booster COVID vaccinations as well, which has also improved, you know, life expectancy, unlike when it started, in the, you know, when it first came. Okay, BC, uh, sorry, like, Uju. Um, um, I want to uh, I want to say um, just hold on a bit. Uh, I want to say thank you to BC for your thoughts on the news at this time. You know because you know a lot of things is happening and people some people are tired. Some people still want it to go on because I know that a lot of people are not working. I mean in the office they're working from home and they're liking it and even the the bosses are liking it as well for cuts of cost. So I want to thank you, um, BC, for joining us. Have a good day. And you too. Thank you. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.